माई डियर स्टूडेंट दिस इज प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन आज के नीट ट्वेंटी थर्टीन लेट एस सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन लाइटनिंग स्पीड एंड प्रूव दैट वी आर द फास्टेस्ट स्टूडेंट इन इंडिया हु कैन सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम इन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड विदउट होल्डिंग दिस पेन एंड पेपर ऑल्सो थैंक यू वेरी मच नो लेट एस गो हेड दीज आर द टू मिरर ओके सो लेट एस कंसिडर दिस इज मिरर ओ एम एंड दिस इज ओ एन ओके and this is light ray p q this is r and this is s is it then after that you should remember one thing here that uh, this angle between the two mirrors is given as 70 and it is also said that according to the problem uh, parallel it is reflected parallel that means here r s is parallel to o m r s is parallel to o m therefore uh, this is 70 means this is also going to be 70 these are called as corresponding angles if this is 70 this is also going to be 70 because this is all, this is called as glancing angles okay this is called as glancing angles is it okay so 70 70 140 means uh, this is going to be 40 because angle sum property sum of the angles in a triangle is nothing but 180 so this is going to be 40 but this plus this together it is going to be 90 because this is normal if this is 40 then the remaining part is going to be 50 that's it without pen and paper you can solve the problem your answer is going to be the d option hope you have enjoyed thank you very much hi dear students today i am going to solve this problem which is related to ray optics reflection concept you can just see the lengthy method given in the books how can you avoid this lengthy method and bypass with the shortcut method so that you will be the fastest student in india then you have to learn a small concept here how can you solve this problem in fraction of seconds without even holding this pen also but to make you understand how to use pen so let us see here this is a mirror okay so light ray will enter strike the mirror and gets reflected back you all know angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection similarly this side glancing angle this side glancing angle both are going to be same here okay so how are you going to solve the problem here according to the problem it is given that the light ray enters from this side strike one mirror this is a mirror which is given and this is one more mirror which is given so light ray enters falls in one mirror in such a way that uh, this is p and this is q and this is r and this is s okay so let us see what is going to happen now okay so it is entering in this direction it gets reflected back and again it gets reflected back by the two mirrors like this uh, it is said that for example this is om and this is n it is said that om is parallel to pq and similarly similarly it is also said that pq i mean on is also parallel to R S. This is R, and this is going to be S yes here. Okay. As these two are parallel, let me solve the problem in fraction of seconds. As P Q and uh, uh, P Q and O R are parallel, we can write this is angle theta means this is also angle theta. These are called as corresponding angles. If this is theta, this is also going to be theta because these two are called as glancing angles. Similarly, it is said that O N is parallel to this R S. that's why we can also take if this is theta this is also going to be theta these two are called as corresponding angles if this is theta this is also going to be theta because these are called as glancing angles okay then r4 now we're getting now theta plus theta plus theta is equal to 180 degrees this is called as angle sum property therefore 3 theta is equal to 180 degrees theta is equal to 180 by 3 which is equal to 60 degrees is going to be your answer as such a simple method is used to Okay, my dear students. Today, I would like to discuss a very, very important and easy topic that is prism. And uh, you can just see the prism, the lengthy method given in the textbooks. Okay, so we can solve this problem in a simple, simple, simple trick. And I, my aim is to make you the India's the fastest student in solving physics problems. Now, you can just see here. as the light ray is entering in this direction normally normal to the surface pr we can take here r1 r2 sorry this is r2 is equal to i2 is equal to 0 okay so here i1 is equal to i 
R1 is equal to R whereas I2 R2 is equal to 0 because this is going in the normal direction in this direction okay so then we can write here you all know that there is one identity in the prism that is R1 plus R2 is equal to A R1 means R R2 is 0 this is A okay so you all know that mu is equal to sin i by sin r okay sin i by sin r for small angles we can write sin theta approximately equal to theta therefore uh, this can also be written here as mu is equal to i by r but i have proved that r equal to a therefore mu is equal to i by a i is equal to mu into a i is equal to mu into a this is a simple simple short method to solve the problem like this hope you have enjoyed thank you very much have a nice day and today i would like to discuss a very very amazing and time saving short trick where you can do the problems with uh, faster than a rocket and you will be the fastest student in india if you follow these methods which i am going to teach now if you observe here there are uh, there is a problem where if you can consider that there are two equi convex lens having focal length f1 and f2 therefore resultant focal length 1 by capital f1 is equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 in the second case in between these two convex lens there is a glycerin okay and here the refractive index is 1.5 for both the lenses, even the glycerin also having same refractive index. When the refractive index of glycerin is also 1.5 and lenses also 1.5, then 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 their focal lengths are going to be same. But as in between these two lenses, uh, there is a liquid here, and the shape of the liquid is just like a concave lens, just like a concave lens. Therefore, focal length of a concave lens is negative, convex lens is positive. You just have to do one thing here, that's it. You'll get an answer easily. So here, as the focal lengths are same, you can write 1 by f1 is equal to, as the focal lengths are same, you'll write 2 by f. This implies that f1 is equal to f by 2. But in the second case, glycerin is just like a concave shape here. In between the two lenses, we can consider this as 1 by f okay this is 1 by f and this is minus 1 by f again this is plus 1 by f focal lengths are same but in the middle there is a concave lens which is taken as focal length negative for a concave lens then these two are getting cancelled here therefore f2 is going to become f that's it got the answer now f1 by f2 can be taken as f by 2 whole divided by f if you cancel out this one it is going to become 1 by 2 Thank you very much. The third option is going to be correct answer. For this type of problems, so just subscribe to your subscribe to my channel, prescribe to your friends and describe the comments below. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Okay, my dear students. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel for Kurdan Academy Physics. Uh, for this type of prism problems, I will make you the India's fastest student to solve this type of problems. How can you solve, inshallah? Let us see here now. So whenever the light ray enters in this direction whenever the light ray enters in this direction and uh, it comes out perpendicularly to the other side of the prism perpendicular to other side of the prism then you can convert Snell's law by using this direct formula uh, that is mu is equal to sin i by sin r you will write no don't write sin r directly you can take sin a which is angle of a prism okay so that's it finish in a single step, you'll get an answer. Sin i is equal to mu times of sin a, which is taken as 30 because a is given as 30 in the problem here. So, therefore, sin i is equal to mu, which is root 2, and sin 30 is nothing but 1 by 2. So, which is nothing but 1 by root 2. That's it. You got a formula in single step method. So, therefore, you can write i1. Okay, this is all i1 where i1 is taken as directly 45 degrees hope you have enjoyed this short trick okay so instead of writing mu is equal to sin a by sin r you can directly take in this case of prism when light ray enters and perpendicularly it passes through the other side then at that time snell's law you can directly change as mu is equal to sin i by sin a sin a thank you very much have a nice day